Hi guys, hope you're all okay. I just thought I'd do a quick walk around video of my new uh, white E180 RSX. Because I don't think anyone online has done a review of this bike. I think there's been a couple of reviews in magazines and stuff, but no one from the public's done a little review or walk around of their bike. Anyway, I'm in my flat because it's a bit dull outside. I thought the lighting's a bit better in here, but saying that probably isn't. But anyway, I'll carry on and, uh, and have a little chat about my bike. Right. I swapped this bike in for my old bike, which was the E180 RS V2, I think it was. I sold it in October and I waited all that time for this bike to turn up from October. Ridiculous. I don't have much luck with bikes. They seem to take ages and ages to arrive. Anyway, I ordered it from uh, Monster MTB. They... I think it was full price. Uh, I think it was eight, eight thousand eight hundred, eight nine, something like that. Anyway, I quickly looked online for my, for my bro for him to buy his new bike and found out this bike was for sale at Spokes Online for one thousand eight hundred pounds discount. Well, that's crazy. So I cancelled the order uh, with Monster MTB. They weren't very happy, but I was saving eighteen hundred pounds. That's that's you know that is as it as it was. They couldn't argue that really. They wouldn't discount the bike at all. Straight. So yeah, guys, if you're after a white uh, e-bike, I think Spokes Online have still got loads and loads in stock. It might be a little bit more expensive now. I think he's put the price up 500 quid compared to what I paid for this. So I paid 7,000 for this. Uh, I, I cancelled the order from Monster MTB and the bloody uh, bike was still on the same ship. So I still waited six months for it. But do you know what? I, I didn't really ride much for the winter. And Rob, my bloody best buddy... Good old boy was lending me his Merida 10K. So I was actually just using that on the rides we were doing with the lads. So I had a bike to use. So it was no problem, thanks to him. Anyway, uh, right, let's run through what I think they've changed on the bike for the 2023 model. Then I'll run over things I've added, bar ends, seat post, kiosk screen, stuff like that. Right, it doesn't look that different to the RS. The only things I can really see that look a bit different is there's a, there was a joint across there. They've got rid of that and put that chunkier weld there. Uh, I think maybe the head tube is a bit fatter. I think it's the head tube, yeah. And the down tube doesn't look fatter to me, but it's fitted in the 750 watt battery. So it must be bigger. I don't know how they've done it. I can't. Let's add my old bike next to this one. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. It looks the same to me. Uh, I'm not sure. So, yeah, I don't think they've changed much else on it, really, that I can see. They have changed the pattern of the... Uh, these are now black, and these are a bit different to the old uh, pattern of the uh, discs on the last bike. Uh, I don't think they've changed anything else. They've made this, this is adjustable. You can pull this out and turn that. That's better than the old one. But that's just a simple little thing to, to take the wheel out. But no, it looks the same. Ah, the main thing they have changed on this bike compared to the RS is uh, gears. Access XO1 uh, wireless gear set, which I must say I was dreading using, but they are bloody brilliant. I, to, anyone that's used them, I, I can't fault them. It's just instant up and down, just no questions asked at all. I bought a uh, spare battery just in case uh, on the trail I lose that one. It's got a little cage on it to protect it. Right, I'll run over the spec of the bike roughly. I'm not going to go into full detail. You can look online if you want to know exactly in depth detail of what this is. Uh, we'll start off at the cockpit. Uh, we've got race face, turbine R, bars, 800 mil. We've got code RSC brakes, which I have loved. They are mega. Any other SRAM brakes, the code R's and the RS's just seem poor compared to these. These are bloody amazing. I will, I will change these pads at some point. Change the pads, sorry, to these ones. Can you see what they are? I've used these before and they just give more feel through the lever. They're, they're e-bike specific, they're brilliant. So yeah, I might change those at some point, but that's not, that's not a big deal. 
Uh, Fox Factory 38 suspension, as before, uh, 180 mil. Rear is, probably see better this side, rear is Fox Factory, I think it's an X2. I think it's 170 mil on the back. I think I'm correct in saying that. Got race face crank arms. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm just trying to think anything else. Oh, the tyres come as standard, which I love. The Asagai. Uh, that's an XO plus on the front. And the back is an Asagai, is a double down. I wouldn't mind if they had on the back, if it was a uh, Minion DHR2, that, that would do me fine, but they seem to put same tyres on each uh, each end, which is cool. Ah, another thing they have changed, what I remember, they've changed under here. Can you see a bit more protection uh, under there? Ah, the major thing they've changed, which I've just forgot to mention, you can take the battery out, it's a game changer. That was the, that was the main concern on the old bike. If you went anywhere, and you were staying in a hotel or somewhere, you couldn't get the battery out. So now, battery under a bolt under there, literally under that little flap, uh, pull a lever, battery slides out. Superb, absolutely superb. Uh, that is definitely, definitely a game changer for me if I go away for more than one day. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right. That's it spec-wise, I'm not going to run over any more of it. As I said, go online if you want to know exactly the details and the seat post angle and stuff like that. I have no idea. So I'm not going to bother to even try and talk about that. Uh, right, I'll go through what I've added to the bike now. Right, we'll start in the cockpit. I added the Kiox, sorry, my, God, my mates at Rutland Cycles added the Kiox screen with this little mount. Can you see? It's there, it does stick out a bit, but it's okay. And I bought this wire uh, for about six quid online that goes into the control unit. And that's all you need to do is to mount that on there or on any kind of mount, buy a lead, plug it in, it works straight away. I'll turn it on actually. So it works straight away. It was just like a 30 second job. It was absolutely simple as that. So yeah, the kit screen just has more info than the other, what was the other screen? I can't think what it was before. Uh, just a Kiox, whatever it was, but yeah, I'm not gonna get the details of how that works, but it's, uh, it's brilliant, I love it. I know some people hate these screens, but, and some people like them mounted on here, but this is how this is, and it does me fine. I have ordered a new bracket to get mount this controller a bit lower, more flush to the bars from Bosch. It's on back order. So it'll come, it'll literally be flush, there won't be that gap, so in a crash it'll be, yeah, it should take, well, it should stop it from getting so damaged in theory, so that's coming, that's only a few quid. Uh, I've got some death grips, which I love, oh, they're so comfortable. Uh, I've got some Hope bar ends. I changed a seat to an Ergon seat, which I've always ridden on, used on my bikes, they're just, oh, just so comfy, absolutely. Right guys, I've added a Fox factory dropper post. The medium bike comes with a 150 dropper, which is perfect for me. But if you've got long legs, I'm only five foot seven, you probably want a 170 or 160, whatever they come in. This, this is perfect for me. It's just this perfect height. It looks better as well with the Kashima. It goes, uh, it goes to the rest of the bike. Me being a bit of a magpie, I like some, I like some bling, but it is super, yeah, it is super fast. The reaction time for going up and down is just better than the Crank Brothers one. I kept the Crank Brothers lever under there. Look, I didn't bother changing that. There's no point. Again, I've got a Fox mudguard fitted there. Attaches bolts onto there. Attaches to the bleeder valves. I've also got a long version uh, to go on the winter, which I'm not going to fit yet because it's still the summer. So I'll fit that at some point. Uh, da -da 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 -da, working my way down. I've got a Fidlock bottle, it just fits, just fits there, look, they are. My brother's got a E160 RSX, can't even fit this bottle on his bike, he's got a Fox Performance uh, set up on his bike, I think that's right, and he can't even fit this bottle on it, it's just, they've just got it a little bit wrong, 
with the uh, yeah mounting bottles is a bit that you know it just fits on mine i'm lucky only just pedals crank brother stamp pedals i love these the grip on them is insane absolutely superb superb ah oh, one thing i remember i have him busy framed the bike as you can see the join there uh, i've got a couple of bubbles in it i started to lose the plot after a while doing it and gave up doing the small bits i'm not bothering with them just did the main the forks uh the main frame the rear triangle uh that was it really yeah the head tube but didn't go mad and do every single little bit i think that's it that's about all i've added really i can't think to see anything else i've added i don't think i've missed anything that i can uh that i can think of yeah guys we went to the peak district with the lads a couple of sundays ago but my bro on his new e160 rsx my mate daz on his e160s my mate gary on his mondraker crafty rr I'll put a link to that video now if you want to watch us in the peaks. We did a 30 mile loop, the Lady Bower hard loop. Um, yeah, it, it was hot, it was hard, but it was really dusty, not muddy. Uh, I didn't change the settings on the bike through the app. I left it exactly the same. Because the great thing now on the, is it the Flow app? Yeah, the Flow app, you can change every setting on the bike, as in the motor wise, the torque, just all sorts of things. It's absolutely superb. I'll put a picture of the app now and of what you can change it's brilliant so i left it in factory settings i did find that eco was a bit weak it didn't really do anything they're on a really flat road where my mate daz and i think my bro gary they uh, adjusted their eco up a little bit and they had the same amount of battery left at the end so i had about 22 percent battery left after that ride uh yeah it was mega <clears throat> the bike performed oh it's just amazing just anything this just rides over i love I love the Fox factory suspension. I know it's probably just in my imagination with the Kashima coating, but it's just so smooth and it's just buttery smooth. It just glides over everything. Uh, I would have probably been okay with a 160 RSX, but my last one was a 180, so I thought I'd stick with the same bike, so I wasn't disappointed with the suspension. But yeah, peaks were amazing. We're going to do... Guys, one really important thing I just forgot to mention is this bike's now a mullet which I think for me personally is the best setup. That's a mullet as well. That's my the G180 I used in Morzine. I used in Morzine last year. That's my proper enduro weapon. That's brilliant. That's a mullet. And I was going off drops and things that the other guys with the 29er bikes weren't doing. I just think the position this puts you in on a downward slope is just so much better being a mullet. And the back end feels more lively as well. So September... <clears throat> My mate Daz and I uh, are going in the van. I'm taking, we're taking the e-bikes and I'm taking my normal bike. We're going to do the passports to Soleil. As we get there, the first day we ride is the last day that's open. So we're going to do that 100, I think it's a 90 kilometre loop on the e-bikes. And the rest of the week, we're going to be riding normal bikes. Daz will be on his e-bike the whole week. It's fine. Our buddy Rob's coming too with his son, maybe. I'm not sure who he's bringing. So this will be in Morzine uh, with the mullet set up. And so will my G180. So... Well excited about Morzine. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Oh, so guys, yeah, any questions, give us a shout. But I will the next ride I'll do on it in the Peak District, I think we're gonna do the uh cut gate. I'll do a proper rider review as I'm riding it and tell you how it all feels. Uh but it in the Peak District last time it felt superb. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything that anything that's negative. Uh, about the bike I was a bit annoyed with the Keox screen or the whole app it didn't track my route it told me how far I'd been but on the map half the route was missing and it said we didn't climb half as much as we did so but Strava did the same thing so that was a little bit odd Strava's never let me down it's linked to my watch not sure what Strava was playing at anyway let's try it out next time that's the only real thing I can fault on this bike the other thing that people moan about, which I'm not moaning about, but I'll mention is the weight. It's about 26 kilos, but I'm used to a heavy bike. People going for all these lightweight bikes with smaller batteries. And the riding I do, that 30 kilometer loop, we all had big batteries. Uh, Zeb and uh, Ruffer, they had, uh, on their Santas, they had a, uh, they had a spare battery in their rucksack because they can't do it. They've got to carry a thousand watts worth of battery. So I'm happy. This 20, it, it downhill, it's just, it, 
it's just a monster truck. It just smashes for everything. The weight doesn't bother me. I'm not doing massive jumps and flicking it around in the air and that. I'm not bothered about it not being light. It's fine as it is. So put on a light bike, get a light bike, but don't ride these kind of bikes and then whinge that they're heavy because that's just what they are. That weighs hardly anything. That's like a that's featherweight. That's my normal bike. So yeah, uh, what magazine was it? I'm just trying to think. Uh, was it MB? MB Mountain Bike UK magazine, that's it. Just did a test on this bike and it got four out of five. It was against all sorts of Canyon, Nuke Proof maybe, I can't remember, the latest ver magazine that's out now. So it's got four out of five. They did say, they said it was a bit heavy, but they didn't really say that was a problem. They said the seat tube angle wasn't quite steep enough. That was the only thing they could fault, but I'm not a good enough rider to really notice all that kind of stuff. This feels great for me. Everybody likes different bikes, you know. Don't like your bike, there, there, there. Just buy the bike you want to buy and don't worry about everybody else. That's what I've always said about cars and motorbikes. Just, it's what suits you. This bike suits me fine. The fact that it's a British brand is superb. I love supporting British companies if I can. You know, that is you know, why, I know they're made in Taiwan or whatever, but it's just great that they're designed in the UK. I think, uh, and the bearings are sealed as well. And they've got a lifetime warranty on the bearing. So for me, this bike is all I never need. I, I don't know, in a couple of years when I sell this, I don't know what the bikes are gonna be like, where, where they're gonna be. There's gotta be a very, very different bike and a lot, lot better, obviously for me to buy a new one because I don't know where else. I don't need a bigger battery, 750 watts. I'm, I'm half dead before the battery is because it's 750 watt. It's my dream bike. Absolute dream bike. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'll keep me on the suspension, probably get it serviced probably every year. Uh, not sure who will do that, but probably just get it checked out and serviced. It, I'm 70 something kilos, can't remember. I'll say 74, 70, I'm guessing 75. I, the suspension's perfect, there's no tokens in it front and back. It's perfect for me, my sag 30%. I'm not sure what the pressures I'm running on the uh, in the shocks, can't remember, but they were what? got set up on my last bike, I've used the same pressures and it just runs perfectly. So uh, really, really chuffed, really chuffed. All right, guys, any questions, give us a shout, but I'll probably miss something out, but I can't really remember if I have or not. I think I've covered everything. Yeah, the tires are a bit weird. They've got these funny, they've got these funny bits on them because they're new, look. That didn't even wear off in the Peak District, that, 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 that rubber, they're very strange. Very. Ah. Another thing they've changed over the last bike. The last bike had DT Swiss wheels. These are now Hope. What are they? Ah, oh, it's upside down. Fortus, is it Fortus 30? Yeah, Fortus 30s. And we've got Pro, Pro, is it Pro 4? Yeah, Hope Pro 4 hubs. To me, I can't tell the difference. Maybe these are a better wheel set. You guys will know more than I, I do about wheels, but yeah, feel fine to me. They might be lighter than the DT Swiss. I have no idea, but I feel great. So that, I knew there's something at the end I was going to forget. It was the wheels. That was the other thing they've changed on the bike. Uh, but that, as I said, not much else. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll do another ride review video when I do Cutgate in the Peak District in probably about three or four weeks' time. I'm away in Madeira uh, for a week, and then I'm back. So I hope to get some riding, riding done in Madeira with my other half, bless her. I'll take her on some mellow trails on, on an e-bike if we can hire some. I'm not sure, I think it's free ride Madeira. We're right, we're, our hotel's right next to the shop. I didn't plan that, by the way. Wink, wink. It wasn't my idea to stay in the hotel where we are. It just happens to be a, a big bike shop next door to the hotel. Anyway, all right, guys. Uh, any questions as ever, give us a shout. I'm, I'm sure I've missed something out, but I'll try my best. But as I said, no one else has done a walk around video of, of an E180 RSX. I thought, my like, it was clean and inside I'd do a little walk around video of it. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye.